Ryzen 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Okay, maybe at this point you're getting sick of seeing Ryzen 5 coverage. Well, I do apologize. This may be the last one we do for just some time, unless if you saw the last video and you did vote in favor of Ryzen 5 1600X sticking around for a while. But today what we're looking at is the quad core variant, the least expensive X model, coming in at $190, the Ryzen 5 1500X. What happens when you take this $190 graphics card and you pair it up with the Radeon RX 480? See, I feel like that's a very good combination at least on paper, because you're looking at a quad core eight thread CPU, 190 bucks, you're looking at a GPU between two and $250. It's gonna be very similar to what a lot of people, I would imagine that are spending that kind of money are gonna be pairing together. Now for these tests, we did use a little bit of overkill RAM. We used the Flare X uh, DDR4 3200 megahertz kit from G-Skill. That's just because they sent it to us and it's validated at 3200. I would like to take a look and see how much this RAM speed affects the lower CPU, such as the quad cores. So 2133, 24, 26, 67, 21933. Anyway, I digress. Leave that in the comments below if you'd like to see that video. This is about the 1500X and the RX 480. Now, the CPU will be run at stock and overclocked to 4 gigahertz across all four cores to see what kind of a bottleneck there may be on the 1500X when paired with a mid-range card such as the RX 480. Now we did run these tests on an MSI B350 Tomahawk motherboard to keep things kind of in line with the price. And we did run the GPU at a plus 50% power limit to maintain the full 1288. Yes, 1288, not 1266. This is the overclocked, 22 megahertz overclocked RX 480. Anyway, let's take a look at these results and see where the CPU stands at stock and overclocked along with the RX 480 when gaming. So there are the results. You can see that clearly off the bat stock results, the Ryzen 5 1500X was not bottlenecking the RX 480 whatsoever in any of these gaming tests. In fact, it's actually within margin of error, even sometimes dipping a little bit slower. For that, I can't really explain it, but just routinely running the test, it, it averaged out that way. So the Ryzen 5 1500X with the Wraith Spire cooler, mind you, all of this was done on the Wraith Spire stock cooler that it came with, kind of a budget king there. So 190 bucks for the CPU with the cooler. Cooler's plenty enough to get it overclocked to four gigahertz. Uh, RX 480, the particular one we got was 200 bucks. We've unlocked it, but that's neither here nor there. And uh, it's a good combination. Put out some very good uh, performance. I would argue that you could probably get away with even slower RAM than what we use, but we may take a look at that as time progresses and we have time to do that. So is the Ryzen 5 uh, 1500X and an RX 480 a good combination? Oh, you betcha. It's quite good, in fact. Um, we would like to take a look 
as time progresses how the RX 480 and the GTX 1060 stack up when used with this CPU. I'm sure that's something you guys would like to see, especially with API overhead testing, uh, see which one actually holds it back or goes a little bit faster with the more mainstream CPU. Ryzen 7 1800X was a fun one to look at, but eight core 16 threads at $500 is a little bit out of most people's price range. Four cores, eight threads, 190 bucks. I think a lot of people can pick this one up with not much problem, especially when the board's only $110. Either way, there's your results, guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative or entertaining in the least bit, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we will catch you all in the next video. This has been Keith. Thank you.